Right, hello everybody, welcome to replay analysis for Squirrel Dude of his uh, match versus Wolfbark in the SFL, presumably. Um, Squirrel Dude. Aha. So Squirrel Dude is the Dark Elves versus Kislev. He chose to kick, uh, won the toss and chose to kick. He's got Blodge, Blodge, Mighty Blood, Blodge, Blodge Guard, Blodge Movement, Blodge Step, Blodge Block. Blodge block wrestled. So pretty much exactly how I would have developed the team, I guess. Uh, I'm not a fan of this stand firm here uh, for Wolfbark on his second skill. Guard stand firm there. Mighty blow on a double for a lineman. I'm not a fan of that either. I'd have gone guard for a lineman double. Um, and he's got a rackle, a couple of wrestle, obviously. And a sure hands first skill on his catcher. So um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, PC, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not really a fan of how Wolfbark's built this to tell you the truth I would go, I would have gone dodge first on the uh, catcher always I think it's horrible being strength 2 defenseless um, pretty much the only strength 2 defenseless player in the game so from a personal point of view I don't really like that and really don't like the fucking stand for <laughs> Not blocking diagonally with his shit cunt fuck bear. Blitzing a guy he could have blocked. But <laughs> at least it was with Russell. Was this a perfect defense? This is the only explanation. Either that or uh, Wolfbark's brain fell out. You mean past CCL jump in Southfield? That makes sense if try and try and Shawnee already is pretty much up there, isn't it? So a bit of a elf screen. Fair enough. Nicely going for the defenseless dude. Ah, good aim. Try had been in though, hadn't he? Cheeky dodge away from tail, which is fair enough. Better than getting mighty blood. Might have kept that guy down. Because I wouldn't have wanted to reroll the 3 plus dodge. And it's it's fine having him laid down, isn't it? He can still get up and stand up and do something. I think maybe he would have gone the extra square dodging away so that he would, the bear wouldn't have gone on three guys. Um, oh, and wolf back as well. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. So he hits with mighty blow. He doesn't have it. He's got one tackle, doesn't he? So that was about the only way he could have gone. Really, he could have uh, could have picked him off, I guess. A bit heavy basing here from Wall of Bark, and the stand firm diving tackle is a pain in the ass against Elf. I'd be inclined to run someone up here as a as a canoring threat. I wouldn't hit, you know, just a just a line or moving back keeps him honest. Electing to hit the 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 doubt shrimp up guy. I think I'd have just dodged. Nah, I think I'd have dodged away at the end of the turn. I know it's a four plus, um, or even just stood there. Maybe he's gone to maybe gone for this guy. Maybe he could have assisted and blitzed him with mighty blows. Maybe blitzed him with mighty blow. I think that's what I would have done. Going for them. I mean, the thing about going for the stand firm is, even if you knock him over, he just jumps up and punches you anyway. You know? And he diamond tackles. Ouch. <laughs> Oof, easy. So yeah, um, um, yeah. I think that was the thing. I think it was the fact that he had the jump up as well. Like if he didn't have the jump up, trying to knock him down is kind of fair. 
Because you don't want to have to do a 75 as well, a 50% dodge, I wouldn't have re-rolled it. Um, well, I think setting up the screen behind him and then dodging where at the end of the turn would have been fine. Uh, I've been trying to get a mighty blow smack in. And could have hit his Rackler. Like, that's his only tackle, so... The fact that you could have... You could have got a cheeky scoring threat up and hit his, his only tackle there. I like not getting hit by the mighty blow there. Some people like to just take as many hits as they can with sidestep. Um, I think I maybe would have sidestepped to here to give you a dodge out. Because as it is, he's just kind of stuck here, isn't he? And also with not activating him last turn, now he's really far away to get a blitz in this turn, isn't he? Ah, so now he's, now he's got a dodge out. Obviously, Lewis Chelsea has got to stay down right now. I thought he was fine on it, really. Not that he's not that he's wrong one square back, but I thought he was fine where he was. I might be tempted to keep him on the bear and like move him to here and keep this guy on the bear so that he couldn't get the bear in to the point of attack. He is a skillless lino, so getting obviously you don't want him mauled by mighty blow, but wouldn't be that bad. So Wolfbar protecting his tackler as much as he can, but can't protect it much, so should be should be hitting him this turn in my opinion. Problem with a a kind of a more passive defence like this is Kislev can just jump over, can't he? So gonna have to put the guard in here. And yeah, so that's it, so don't get to hit his tackle with mind blow. I don't know if you could have done that turn. Maybe you could have done. I think I would have wanted to have hit the tackle with mind blow if possible. Might not have been possible. And I guess you do get this one, uh, potentially. Le one into le one. Yeah, so obviously he should have been there to make that one or two if he committed that. Two players on the diving tackle. I think I would have gone for the uh, Witch Elf dodge first. Because she's got dodge, hasn't she? So if, if you were going to dodge at all. Um, <laughs> if you were going to dodge it all, I would have gone for the Witch Elf dodge first. Just so that if she might use tackle and then uh, she might use dodge and get him out of the way to, to free up the other one on her two plus. But I would have still probably just left him there. I guess Mighty Blow, maybe you do want to get rid of him actually. Mm. He's just a shitter though, isn't he? You can't be too fearful of Mighty Blow if you're like, you know, if it's a must win game or whatever. I quite like having witches on the floor, like, because they're, they're, they're threatening, aren't they, even though, even though they don't look like it, people can easily forget about the jump up. Um, Wolfbar, probably not going to, but plenty of uh, Division 1 Rebel coaches and playoff coaches would, <laughs> would not care about the jump up whatsoever. <laughs> Ah, this is banned. So you could, uh, you could chain the witch elf in here. Um, is it, w is it worth it? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Could uphill him as well. Could start with uphilling. Could start with uphilling the bear in fine chunter fashion. 
Well, pun punch this guy first. And then, uh, and then in fine chunt of fashion, uphill the bear, and if you pow him, then you've got you can chain into a one. It's probably it's probably like not worth it. The thing, the problem is like if you play passively against uh, against these fucks, they will, um, you know, ch oh, chances are they'll they'll get you because they can just jump over you, can't they? Hello, Necrimpins. Oh, killed him. Sexual harassment panda. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I saw Doug and Bosco. I saw that that was that was a thing that his opponent just randomly gave him a. <laughs> I turned off when his random when his opponent just randomly gave him a jump up blitz for no reason. Ooh, I don't like that. I do not like that dodge, Jeebus. I guess that was just like a misclick, right? Because he could have not gone that way. Or did he not go that way? Was that a miss C? Was that a miss C rather than a misplay? <laughs> Yeah, and fortunately by by doing that, there's nothing in front anymore, is there? So I couldn't even utilise the uh, passive defence anymore. And now he's got all the diamond tackle around, so now there's no way to get the ball at all. So now he's just punch things. Oh, maybe he's a chain. Oh no, he's got stun firm. Chain him. <laughs> Doesn't really achieve much. I think you've got to be more aggressive against Kislev, to be honest, on, on defense, I would say. Just in general. Because. Just because they can leap over you, you know, there's. Already, I don't like. Just elf screening is often too passive, but against Kislev, particularly, it's. Very likely to be too passive. Him. Honestly, at this point, I would have probably just done a mind blow blitz and uh, not bothered about the ball. You're really unlikely to get enough around the ball to, to um, special it. Si le joueur trébuchant du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood. Les ballons bip les bou. C'est une mauvaise idée pour lui. C'est bien bon de se tirer partout. Encore faut-il retourner sur ses pattes. À force de sauter pour essayer d'atteindre le soleil. On se brûle les ailes et on s'éclate la poire. Tu fais des bêtises. Tu n'as pas de Oh, il gagne le roi. Jeebus. Yeah, I just blitz the, blitz the defenses, dude. Or maybe, may, oh, block him into the... Block, block the wrestler into the mighty blow. Is something you can do, isn't it? And then if you power him, then you can go for the uh, bear with mighty blow. Would have been better, I believe. Well, I'd rather have Mighty Blow on the bear, even though he's armor nine. <laughs> potentially, I mean, because he could potentially just knock over the bear, and then you could have potentially knocked those two over, and then blitz this guy as well, right? Hello, Vulpes. Fair enough. Three dice block with Mighty Blow from Wolf Park here. Uh, not 
something. Doesn't greet it. Feel like he probably should have done. Oh, it's because he was going to hand off? Wow, that's mad risky on the last turn, isn't it? Like, he should have done that before the last turn he was going to do that, I think. Like, he had plenty of opportunities to do that before the last turn. I feel like he should have done that earlier. <laughs> ah. So a bit like me in, <laughs> in OFL. <laughs> Oh, good fucking no, guy. Very good. <laughs> They're a funny old team, aren't they, Kislev? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But I just think he should have handed off early, you know, he had loads of re-rolls. There was plenty of times when plenty of times when he could have handed off. And relative safety. It's just it's not you know, I'm not criticizing him, I'm not saying he's a he's the world's worst player or anything. I'm not saying only a complete fucking idiot would have done the hand up, but <laughs> maybe he could have done it earlier. P. Diddy. <laughs> no, of course I'm only joking. I'm sure he had his reasons. <laughs> oh wow, is this going to be a really cool one turn? No. <laughs> no is the simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it was possible. Like, if he had movement 9, maybe, but I don't think it was possible. With, you know, with the, the stand for movement 8, that was pretty... That was pretty impossible, I think. After the P, did he? <laughs> yeah, it's cruel, dude. Absolutely. Definitely need four minutes to be able to have any semblance of good play. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piccolo. Not at all. Not at all banging on him. More banging on Wolfpack, actually. <laughs> but no, I just think that was just a bit too, a bit too passive, and then, and then going for that hit on the ball left left you open, didn't it? So it was a risky hit, like a bit like the one that I did in my. Uh, TSD game recently, like a bit one of those where it's kind of decent odds to go for it, but if it fails, you're leaving a bit of a gaping hole. <laughs> the gaping hole. That's uh, that's what me and my friends called uh, somebody we know, um, his girlfriend. We called. Gaping hole. <laughs> oh dear. Nice to be nice, isn't it? University's Mr. Nice, that's me. Gotta watch for the Rackle, that's the only real threat on his defense, isn't it? Un match crucial, he doesn't have a wizard. So what's what what do you want from this game, Squirrel? One one draw, are you happy with a one one draw? Or do you wanna win? 
Ce joueur se rapproche d'un coéquipier. C'est le moment <rire> de vérité. Looking for a win. Interesting, interesting maneuver. I thought maybe. Oh no, she wasn't there because the, he's on him. So there's potentially a, there's potentially a gaping hole here, isn't he? If he get, if he can find a pal with his fuckbear, shit can fuckbear junior. He hasn't gone now. He's gone for the, the boring, sensible play. Fucking wolf bark, sensible bastard. Gets his stand firm in. Stand firm diamond tackle is genuinely, genuinely good against elves, to be fair. Indeed, yes, indeed, Jaws, is an hour and a half's time in fact. Well, the show starts in an hour and a half. Backlash, pay per view starts in an hour and a half. Um, the pre-show wank will start after this match. <laughs> so I don't... You get surfed though, so you've got to make this dodge at the end. Have to make that dodge at the end. It's a bit of a risky blitz because you can't uh, dodge away if you get both. Oh, he hasn't got one. I don't like the follow-up for the, uh, well, for anything, really. Because he's, uh, he can get blocked back, can't he, with a jump up? Or he can get up by Mighty Ball. Are you going for the Tuddy here? Oh, my God. Committed to the Tuddy. Darrell Revis. He's on Revis Island. And he fucking gets the Tuddy. That was a bit wild. I, I don't like that, to be honest, after using the GFI. We were on the GFI. Whew. Bit wild, bit wild. Not sure about that. With him not having a wizard, I think uh, I would have played it, you know, less aggressively there. I would have probably settled for the draw <laughs> at that point and try and, you know, try and stall it a bit longer. Um, but, fair enough. Better set up from Wolfpark this time. Mm. <laughs> All right, Josses. <laughs> I don't like that bite. I don't like this bite, Wolfpark. Honestly, that's twice he's just set up for a three D and not a follow up block from his from his bear. I don't like that at all. I would say that that was, you know, terrible. That was <laughs> genuinely conduct unbecoming of a chalice winner by uh, by Wolf Barker there. Dodd school of blocks, exactly. Dodd school of hard blocks. Yeah, interesting. Right, what are we doing here then? A mighty blow blitz. And one character in the opposing half, I think. Not like a crazy uh, storming threat or anything, but just somebody in the opposing half I would like to see. <laughs> yeah, Jaws. It's a hard life for for people who actually look like wrestlers in the JFW. To be honest, if you look like a giant rabbit or a giant uh, chicken or something, your chances drastic go up. <laughs> I 
Oh, the cheeky four plus dodge to retag. And the bear, like I wouldn't have hated retagging the bear to be honest. Because again, the bear's on two people. Of course, he could have gone stupid. And, um, and it did, he didn't get mighty blow punch, which is good. <laughs> CW. I've got no idea what that is, George, but we'll give you we'll give you a match. Is he going for another foul here? Looks like it, doesn't it? See, this is why I would have liked a guy just in the other half, you know, not not crazy, not a crazy canoring threat or anything, but just somebody in the other half. You know, his ball carrier is totally defenseless, isn't it? Um, so. Just having somebody in the opposing half would make him worry about the ball a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, the giant rabbit is the one person who is immune from criticism in JFW, absolutely. So a mighty blow on his mighty blow? Oh god, some, some basing of men's. Oh no, I'm that guy. I think I'm gonna maybe hit his, uh, hit his mighty blow guy, to tell you the truth. PTK, oh, and this is quite a commitment now. I don't like so many players forward there. Um, to tell you the truth. I guess, okay, gonna try and screen it off, maybe? Oh dear, Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Surely the sea sounds for cheating. Awesome. Um. Yeah. So I, I, I. See, this is the thing. I like. I liked a little. A little subtle threat last turn. Um, rather than the um, like bigger commitment this turn. <laughs> Rackle hit on him. Yeah, so now does he might he might have to GFI here. Yeah, but I mean he does get to. Uh, he does get the naked pregnancy. way in on a 5 plus. That isn't that bad, is it? A 5 plus? I don't even hate going for the 5 plus in here, honestly. With Witch Elf, Dodge, 2 into 2. I, I would be fine with going for the ball hit there. In fact, it's in on a 4, isn't it? It's in on a 4. Oh, I, I would have liked to have gone for the ball there. Uh, he can go around that side, can't he? And then you've got these two to react to it. I feel like a four plus in. So two D and a two would be pretty nice. Like after you've made that commitment to, to go for, which I wouldn't have made, to be fair. Uh, well, I say I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't, thinking now, I might have done in the heat of the moment, as of course if I was watching my game early, I would have said I wouldn't have done what I did there. It was a real big mistake when I had committed all those players. Anyway. So I may well have done it in an actual match. Can't afford to activate the bear here, can he? Gets a cheeky, gets a cheeky plim plum pow. Right, let's pause it for a second. Is there is there a way to chain the ball out here? Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, does it? He's on. She's there, could push twice, and then he could push 
Probably not. If you had four minutes like in Rebel, you could maybe work out a way to chain him out to get an easy 2D on him. Probably not possible. I like running back now. Good armor break, always go for the kills. <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> <laughs> His stand firm is out of the way, isn't it? It's not causing problems. Wow, cheeky uphill. And re rolled as well. I feel like if I was going to uphill and re roll, I would have gone for the uh, bear. To tell you the truth. Was that just a mistake? Was that thought it was a 1D? Okay, I forgot how it's this way. <laughs> it's alright getting the sidestepper in, but he's still got his tackler. So probably just going to get tackled. But he's getting a bit scared, isn't he? he, he like, he's getting scared now of... All you need is a, a witch elf back and uh, you can shut down any potato. Not tempted to activate the bear, good boy. Again, this looks like there's a chain on, doesn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Now nah, you just have to do two. One, two, three. Oh, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> and then GFI, GFI. And then could push him to there and then punch him. So probably unrealistic. Oh, the match is peut encore se passer. Oh, can punch can punch him into there. Oh, I can do it this way. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Very nice. Yes, much better than my convoluted ways. Very good. Maybe should have uh, put this guy in there first, right? So you could have accepted the pushes to push him next to him. But, wow. Glorious. So yeah, there you go. I mean, brilliant chain. Well done. Glorious. And that is probably all she wrote. He's only really got the uh, rattler, <laughs> bonehead there, brilliant. On it. <laughs> yeah, after, after not making any rolls for so long, he finally has to make one and fails. So just a 2 plus to score with a re-roll. Wouldn't do anything before this. Maybe a 3 dicer. Only a 2D. Yuck. Could have made that a 3, right? With the uh, stupid bear. Could have made that a 3. Yeah, still could have, could and should have made it a three dice scroll, dude. But yeah, that's that's that was smart. That was not that was smart, but it should have made it a three D. But yeah, I think definitely, definitely better to do that. I, mean, I would say that's correct because if you triple score, you would have double wand anyway, right? So um, <laughs> um, 
No, it was, that was, it was good to hit him, yeah, good to hit him with, uh, but should have made it three. So I think, I think two is, 2D was definitely incorrect. But, um, yeah, very nice chain play. Yeah, I was being, I was being dumb. I was thinking of using blocks to chain it into a blitz. Whereas I just, I wasn't even looking at blitzing somebody else to get a to carry into a block. I don't know what I was thinking of, to be honest. But no, it was a good spot. Very nice chain play, scroll dude. So there you go. Uh, congratulations, Squirrel Dude. Yeah, so I thought, you know, maybe a bit too passive on defense, maybe a bit rash with the uh, with the early score, uh, but good defense second half, right? Despite again being a, a, a bit, it was a bit less passive. I thought the defense in the second half, which is how he got into trouble, you know, and then uh, obviously good spot on the chain, and then a lovely scatter and and bez away and everything. So. Hopefully, hopefully that was good for you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.